Hi, I'm Toshi Maeda and welcome to JStories, where ideas and technology from Japan help solve global social and environmental problems. Hydrogen doesn't produce CO2 when burned, and hydrogen fuel cells emit water vapor. There are high hopes for hydrogen's potential as a green energy source. In February, a ship carrying liquid hydrogen arrived in Japan from Australia. It was the world's first test transport of liquefied hydrogen by sea. However, the hydrogen was produced in Australia from local brown coal, still resulting in CO2 emissions as a byproduct. Japanese industrial group Hystra, which is leading this project, is working on technology to capture the greenhouse gas, aiming for a CO2-free commercial supply chain by around 2030. The group, joined by companies like Kawasaki Heavy Industries and business conglomerate Marubeni, says its aim is for a society where, quote, hydrogen is widely used in the same way as petroleum and natural gas, unquote. That, the group hopes, could help meet Japan's future energy needs and combat global warming too. Japanese scientists are working on an ambitious attempt to farm sea fish on land. The species they chose was sockeye salmon, popular for its taste but also a challenge because the fish develop slowly and easily get sick. A demonstration experiment began in January using specially developed water. It is fresh water with a precise balance of electrolytes sea fish need to grow quickly and healthily. If the salmon successfully developed in this self-contained system, it will be a world first. The project is headed by a university in Okayama, southern Japan, where researchers say that by using renewable energy to power these farms, it could lead the way to a more sustainable fishing industry. We have a slightly shocking story about eating utensils. Chopsticks, to be precise. They are futuristic chopsticks that deliver a tiny electric charge, making food taste more salty than it actually is. Many diners have to watch their salt intake for health reasons. But these chopsticks help reduced salt meals taste just as good as ordinary food. Researchers from Meiji University and Kirin Holdings say their chopsticks could also modify other tastes by changing the movements of sodium and other ions in the food. And if you like salty soup or spaghetti, no problem. They plan to make electric spoons and forks too. That's all for this week from J Stories. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more solutions and inspirations from Japan.